What's up guys, it's Sly Gittins, and I know we're still on this quarantine, but the learning must continue, and today I got a good one for you. How can you pass the Azure 900, better known as the Azure Fundamental Certification? So if you're on the fence, or just curious about learning about cloud computing, this certification is for you. So stay tuned and watch the video to the end, and make sure to hit the like and the subscribe button. The AZ900 is an introductory certification aimed to teach you the foundations of cloud computing. So you'll learn the differences between public clouds, hybrid clouds, and private clouds. Additionally, you will learn about things such as high availability, disaster recovery. When is it great to move an on-premise workload to the cloud? How much does that cost? What type of support options do you have? And also you get introduced into the basics of the Azure computing structure. So if you're a sales engineer, if you're a developer, a security engineer, cloud engineer, sales, pre-sales, product marketing, people who need to talk about these solutions or sell these solutions, it's a really good beginner certification. So now I'm gonna switch over to my laptop and show you some of the cool tips and tricks that I use to ace this certification. Microsoft did a great job with the exam page for the AZ900. You can find things such as a description here. What is the exam all about? Who is it for? Are there any prerequisites that you need to take? Also, where can you schedule an exam? And how much does that exam cost? So we can see it's 99 bucks, so it's pretty cheap. Right, and then what skills are going to be measured? What will I have to know to be prepared? And it breaks it down by the percentages, and you can even download the skills outline to get a deeper dive on exactly what's going to be on the test. So Microsoft made sure that if there it has to be a doc page associated to what they ask you to study for on exam, so they come they compile that within the Azure fundamental training where we're going to dive into a little bit later on in the video. You can find out other related certifications, and they have a whole bunch of resources such as certification learning path, training certification guide. So this is pretty much the area where you want to start off to get your high level information. So next, let's go take a look at the exam skills measure or the outline. The way I use this is to help me understand, all right, where should I focus my time? Where, what do I already know? What areas do I need to spend more time in? It's, do I need to understand what's the basic of the consumption model? Do I need to understand platform as a service versus software as a service? Um, do I need to understand the availability zones and so on and so forth? So use this almost as a checklist for yourself to help you get prepared for the exam. The next thing that I found that to be really helpful for me was the Azure Fundamental Training. A lot of my colleagues and coworkers use this by itself and pass the exam. I use this in addition to WizLabs, what I'm gonna go into their exam prep information. And also I even took a look at Vlad's um, blog um, to learn a little bit more. So the great thing is they broke it down exactly how that skills measures is built out, is how this learning path is built out. So it's really cool. So you're gonna learn everything you need to know about this exam within this fundamentals, right? And it's free. The key thing is free, so you don't need anything to start learning today. And if you're not planning to take the exam, maybe you just do this just to learn that financial knowledge. So the next thing I'm gonna share with you is WizLabs. I am so happy I found out. I kind of stumbled on this a late night looking for some practice exams. The practice exams are really affordable, only 16 bucks. Right, and you even get a few, you get 15 for free, which was pretty cool. Um, they also have an online course. I didn't take that, but uh, if, if it's anything like the um, exam questions, it has to be good. Uh, but I didn't take that. I just leveraged the practice test in the conjunction with the Azure Fundamental Learning Path, and I felt like that was enough to get me to almost pass with a perfect score. So one thing that I, I really want to share with you really quickly is this study guide by VAD. Vlad does an awesome job at creating uh, one area where you can find a lot of the good resources here. They have certification paths, right? You can also take a look at different options for other things that you can take other certifications on the Azure platform. If you prefer books, I like videos, I like online training. It's updated a lot faster. 
by the time you get these books, sometimes the features that they show there is already obsolete. But if you do want a book, he has a link there. They have video trainings. I didn't use the video trainings um, from Pluralsight on this certification, but you know I love Pluralsight. Take a look at my other two videos, and you can see those links up above. The Azure Fundamentals, Microsoft Fundamentals, they have one here. Um, I'm assuming it's good. Everything that Vlad does so far I found to be pretty uh, exciting. Again, for me, I just leverage the Azure Fundamentals training from Microsoft and the WizLab study guide. And But what I did like about this page, what I use, is that Vlad took that skill and measure cheat sheet that Microsoft created for you and put all the hyperlinks that you need to know to pass the exam. So what do you need to pass? The score is only 700, it's out of 1,000. You know, aim to, to get like at least a 900, so if you fall short, you're still well over that 700 range. I hope this was beneficial for you. I wanted to keep this quick, and if you need anything else, make sure to subscribe to the channel. All right, so you made it to the end of the video, but the fun doesn't stop here. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and also watch the other videos below and share it with your friends. Let's go. Until next time. Knowledge is king. Knowledge is king.